everybody, this is Lorelia, and this is actually my first video um, discussing uh, my journey as um, completing a, um, a whole year being a homeschool mom. And want to talk about some of the things that I've learned, and um, I, I feel like that it would probably help um, any other mothers who are considering homeschooling their child or currently um, are homeschooling. Um, their children or child. So um, as I look back on the year, I think um, the one thing that I would share um, with any new homeschool mom is to be very um, aware of your child's learning style. Um, I actually homeschool my seven-year-old son and my four-year-old daughter uh, does attend a part-time daycare at a preschool so with that being said I you know I'm really really home to focus on my son and what I've learned is that my son is a kinesthetic learner so meaning that for him to sit down and I expect him to zone in or me or zone in on the board um, or whatever I'm focusing on to teach him um, is not going to be possible and I'm not going to say it can't happen but it would be rather difficult and um, so he learns by moving he has to move around um, and then if he is sitting um, I do allow him to do um, work on a short um, should I say a short um, short period of time um, I don't expect him to sit in one place for an hour or two hours in one place. So that is one thing that I would share with any new homeschool mom is be very attentive and aware of how your child learns and to really nurture it. Um, and, and so that has been something, you know, that I had to, I would say would be my biggest hurdle because, you know, with me not having any, you know, formal training, um, with, you know, um, I guess I would say teaching uh, my son. I mean, I've always worked with him even when he was young. But um, when I first started with him in September, there were expectations that I had. Um, I felt like that, okay, um, this is how my understanding of how students should learn. You should sit in a chair, I should be writing on a board or writing, you know, on a pad, and you should listen. And what I found was that I was getting very frustrated at him, but I had to sit back, and I even did research on it, and I found um, that there are different learning styles that the way, you know, children learn. And I, I had to even have to say, shame on me, because this is something that I struggled with when he was in um, the public school system that um, they were not attentive and aware of his learning style and that they felt like, of, of course, you know, public school um, or should I say traditional school um, usually feel like children should learn a certain way and if, you do, if you're not the round peg to fit in their round hole or if you happen to be a square peg and you're not fitting in their round hole then something is wrong with you. And so I had to say, you know, I actually had to be, you know, honest and be very transparent to say, you know, a shame on me. And, you know, that was something that I had to take notice of, too. So that is really it. I mean, when I look back, um, I'm definitely glad with the progress that he's made. I noticed that my child, you know, really likes math. He really likes science. Um, writing, um, we're working on, um, you know, handwriting wise he is um you know he is good but you know in terms of um sentence structure uh reading um phonics we're still working on um he is you know a little behind in that and so we're working you know i am working with him on that so that's really it i mean that is my biggest takeaway looking back on the year um, it's now summertime, and I know you may be wondering, well, what do I do? I still teach, and I do still provide him with some instruction. I don't I really, and I think every child is different. Um, 
I personally do not like that for two months you're not going to do anything. I think that, you know, um, as the saying say, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So I feel like, you know, you should be working on something. So that's what I will do in the summer. Um, I am going to have him enrolled in something. So, um, or should I say, I'm going to teach him something. So there you have it. Uh, this is uh, Lorelia once again. And um, looking forward to doing more videos. I usually do videos on business. But I think I may start sharing some more of my, um, you know, videos on being a homeschool mom. And also me being a homeschool mom running a business at home with uh, two children. So, um, again, this is Lorelia. And I hope this video has been um, helpful. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.